Murray State University Racer Esports versus the Savannah College of Art and Design, the Bees. Racers versus Bees, who will win? Map one, Busan. Let's get it. And Busan is a one control point kind of map. Teams fighting for the central control point. Murray State will wait to see what they run. And I don't know which team is at this gate here. And Murray State, here they are in the red. Savannah Bees in blue. We have Aziz on the Zarya, Brostradamus on the Reinhardt, on her on the Reaper, Flavfilth on Moira, quote, on the Lucio, and Bonsai Tuna going in is that Doomfist. And here comes Murray State. Advancing out on the point. Both teams here. Kindle Cat will switch to their point of view. And it looks like Savannah College pretty quick on the point. Both teams just kind of initially contesting. Rose was able to take out Bonsai Tuna. Z's getting the pick on the Reaver Vakari. And those are trades coming in. 5v5 now. For now 4v5 because and her falls. Kindle Cat taking him out. But Murray State pushing forward a little here. Savannah's going to have to back up a little bit. But the shield's protecting them. Murray State is advancing around, but they kind of remain where they are. They've got the bubbles. While it's not a traditional shield, it is going to work for them. And uh, not now. Murray State opting not to play that double shield, and I wonder if this is going to bite them a little bit. It looks like they don't necessarily have the flexibility that uh, Cole provides them, the Chief, uh, as, as that Sigma. So Murray State is going to uh, kind of take this engagement early here. It looks like Savannah's pushed up to this pagoda uh you know entrance here and there comes the doom fist bonsai trying to charge in shadama swinging his hammer there's a coalescence early from murray state gonna pierce right through those shields there's a hammer down shatter is it gonna connect with anybody and murray state slowly advancing forward we have somebody back capping already and now savannah has to go backward there's a charge from bro shadamas he's pushing forward murray state looks like they might be able to flip the point and savannah has fallen and murray state composed coordinated and taking that point now will they be aggressive as well it looks like savannah is going to move up quickly they do have the symmetra teleporter will they use it to their advantage here right now they're using it just to get up quicker to the point uh, interesting strategy i haven't seen a whole lot of uh, symmetra on this there's the barrier it's going to make it harder for murray state who's gone to the left hand side savannah's going to stay on the right hand side and both teams just going to engage beyond this barrier murray state's going to back up to the point here Now they're pushed backwards by Savannah. Savannah 39 to 26. There's an ult coming in. Graviton Surge. Charge coming in to try and take them all out at once. They're hidden behind the bongos. Dueling Coalescence. Now Reaper's ult going in. Vakari takes out Brostradamus. Nothing, nobody falling there to that Reaper ult. And right now it's 6v5. Murray State at a disadvantage, but Brostradamus, if he can get back quick enough, they can help out, but there and her falls. And now Murray State is at a big, big disadvantage. That's another down as well. Flawfield. 44 to 39. Now 45. Murray State's going to have to regroup here. Bonsai just trying to deal a little bit of extra damage there and kind of harass the team. And I think we'll see Savannah probably push forward again with that double shield. They can, the advantage of that, of course, setting up in that one spot. Murray State might do something a little different here. Well, they're not gonna, they're not gonna change their point of attack, or are they? And they are. And we see Murray State is gonna take advantage of the close quarters here. They're gonna fire strike out of that window and here they come but the drum on the left hand side murray state pushing down the stairs there is the gravitic flux coming in from savannah there's a reaper in the back line they need to take him out they don't call him in time brostradamus and bonsai falling and savannah is getting the picks that they need right here and that is almost a team kill and now murray state in a world of trouble it's 77 percent to 55 it'll probably be 80 something by the time they get back 
And I think maybe one more team fight with how aggressive Savannah is being. Murray State has to make something happen here. And the lack of double shield is worrying me. Murray State, they need to push now. They need to have somebody cap it in the last second to generate that overtime. And the point of attack has flipped over on the right-hand side. Now no longer on the stairs. There's a coalescence from Savannah. Bonsai in the back line just trying to harass. He falls and her as well. And the Tracer's falling. Now quotes down. And the Z's down as well. Looks like this is going to be the end of Murray State. 99% to 55%. There's a shatter, but he dies right away. Bro Stradamus unable to capitalize on that team kill to finish the round. Savannah takes round one, map one. And we move on to round two. So Murray State there... Uh, not doing too bad. A few kinks to work out. Uh, I'm not sure you can get away with a Reinhardt uh, Zarya in today's meta. Against this caliber of team. So now the second stage of Busan. Once again, this control point going to be contested by both teams. The alleyways and sight lines are going to make this one interesting. It looks like Savannah is going to stick with the composition that won them the first one. They have switched over to the May. Murray State remaining the same core group. Going to go down these stairs. And engagements are going to come in early on this point. Control point 15 seconds from being unlocked. There's a May. Trying to freeze already. Flafield falling off the map already. Not good. And her down as well. Murray State's going to lose this early team fight. Switch over to Rose, who's able to get a kill on Aziz as soon as I switch to her. And now, typical Busan strategy. You'll see Savannah's going to move up here and be really aggressive in this alleyway. Murray State is going to have a hard time. They're going to need to go left or go right. They have switched over to the Sigma. Brostradamus normally more comfortable on the Reinhardt, but I think they're going to need the double shield here to break this. That, or they're going to have to run some sort of variant of dive. And Murray State going to push down into this alleyway. We see Anher on top has pushed down Savannah. They do have height advantage now. They have the high ground. That's a shield broken. There's a nice wall to separate Aziz. That's not good. He's able to, well, now he's not able to stay alive. Quote is down. Once again, Savannah taking the early picks here on map one. And there's Bonsai just trying to do what he can. Murray State not playing uh, as well as they could be. But again, Basan is a weak map for them. Uh... And this mm, kind of change in composition, I think, is a little bit unsettling them. But no reason to panic yet. 50% of the way there for Savannah. Murray State can still bring this back. Bakari up top. That Reaper just holding that top site. He gets halted down. And Murray State gets halted up to take some damage there. Their shield is broken. Now Sigma has to wait for a second. And now look at this. Savannah just pushing forward. There's a coalescent from Flavfield to try and stabilize, but he gets frozen. Kindle Cat getting the kill on him. Bakari killing Aziz. And it's just chaos right here in the alleyway. And Savannah is going to punish them heavily and move up and almost spawn trap Murray State now. Kindle Cat with a naughty little ice wall there. And now Murray State has to make a play. This is, this is desperation hour. Their backs are against the wall. They're going to come over on this right-hand side. Will they read the play? They've got the Lucio there to read it. He just happens to... Yeah, he read it. He almost booped Quote off the point. And here we go. 91%. Murray State touching the point. There's a Blizzard coming in for Savannah. It's going to freeze a couple. Aziz and Bonsai falling as well. Oh my goodness. Murray State is unable to just get the picks that they need. Flatfield frozen as well. He gets taken down. Quota's still on the point. And he's bringing in Death Blossom. Can he get any? No. Murray State is going to fall. Aziz has switched over to the Hammond, but it's not going to be enough. Murray State is going to lose map one to the Savannah Bees. Tough loss for Murray State. Well played by Savannah. Play of the game. And here's the play of the game from Iron Lion. There's that Gravitic Flux. As Murray State tried to change the point of attack. Unfortunately, uh, you know, it's kind of easy to read map rotations on this map. Thanks to how open some of the sight lines are. They read that. They brought in the ults. They shut them down. And uh, that was, I think, the decisive moment.